Hey everyone, welcome back to Control. So, that path of least resistance to get Jesse all buffed up um, <laughs> proved significantly more resistant than I'd expected, but I don't actually feel bad about our encounter down there. Um, I mean, yeah, I kind of very slightly didn't win. It doesn't mean I failed. I just, you know, didn't win. Uh, but... I'm sure that we have gained some experience. We've gained some um, additional upgrade points. I hope I've got some additional upgrade points at least for um, getting past those waves of enemies. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit of a while. I'll take a bit of a break before I go and uh, challenge the jukebox again. Um, if at all, I don't know whether I will take it on uh, further down the line because this, that was the first of three progressively more difficult level challenges. And at the end of it, you apparently get some pretty nice mods and upgrades and things, um, and a, uh, a uniform, an outfit, and that's about it. So I, I feel like that's kind of an end game thing for if you're really desperately sort of scraping for more content, um, which isn't beyond me. But uh, I think we'll concentrate on things more within the oldest house for a little while at least. So let's see. I noticed that Arish over here has got a big bright red indicator on him. Are you for real? I, <laughs> I'm the director and I'm kind of in the middle of this as well. I, I'm the highest power there is. Nobody's calling the shots to get you all killed, trust me. Right, let's see. Has Emily got anything new? She doesn't have a, a red marker, so it, which means that she's not an objective. Hi, Jesse. Hello. Hi. Um, never mind. Wrong room. Oh, silly me. I should me. get going. Don't let me hold you up. You know, nothing personal. You, you just, uh, nothing that I want. Um, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. But, oh, oh, again. Where the fuck did Marshall go? I'm getting the weirdest feeling of deja vu. There you are. Hello. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? Uh, no. I found them. Oh. But it's not good news. Oh. The hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of hiss, Arish. Are we talking about I the mean, jukebox? A lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. Oh god. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. Oh uh, yes, I very much want. I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. I try. Oh, you all tease you. Okay, so I completely missed the cue last time we spoke to Arish. So the team that he was talking about and the the pouches that were around their necks. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one. Stay sharp, Faith. You really need new lines, dude. Honestly, uh, they are the ones that are actually on the expedition into the jukebox. Okay, so that did kind of serve some purpose. I think Arish is basically going to keep jabbering away at us until we uh, complete all three of the jukebox trials, which, like I said before, probably isn't going to happen anytime soon, uh, if I'm brutally honest. Right, let's take a look. We're behind on a few files here, aren't we? What have we got under multimedia? Uh, let me see. Was this just something that we... Uh, yeah, pink documents. Um, make sure to report them immediately. A mirror debrief. Debrief for mirror excursion seven C. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that was talking backwards. Uh, and the if you're the yes, invaluable information there. Um, cool. So. Take a look at case files. What have we got here? The jukebox. Oh, we've got the file on the jukebox. Okay, so this is the one that Arish has just handed uh, over to us. This was pulled in in 1988. Item is to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. See Security Order 2398. The room must be sealed before usage to prevent unintentional transportation of staff. Jesse mentioned about some of the troopers getting sucked into the thing. So does it literally draw people in by force? A classic 1950s jukebox made by Songmaster Entertainment Limited. 
The jukebox was found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others by Redacted. When this record is played in the object, anyone within earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. Oh, that's why it's a 25 minute timer. It's a 25 minute album. Those involved in the object's first known incident report being transported to a tropical beach. Exact location unknown. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorize that this site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning material gravitating to its position, as has been observed with other bureau equipment. The oldest house's unique nature could also be having an effect on the, fan of the object itself. The object is not bound to any known individual. Attempts by bureau staff to bind it have resulted in redacted and should not be attempted again. <laughs> You learned your lesson the first time, didn't you, Agent Redacted? So, let's take a look. Arish did mention... Okay, I wonder if there's something over in Research and Records, because Arish did mention that we had a file on the Foundation specifically, as opposed to the jukebox. that will be here somewhere. Oh, the f not the Foundation, the Formation. There's too many Fs in this place. So this is compiled by Edna Pierce. Lead researcher of parakinesiology, I think we've heard of her before, by order of Casper Darling. Interwoven causality of the formation. The formation is a tall stone structure found in quarry site Beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens into the jukebox object of power. See OOP 10 case file for details. The formation's exact purpose is redacted, but we can at least examine its relationship with the redacted surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of redacted at certain lines running from the formation to the redacted. I wonder if that's the quarry. When examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detected. Okay, so they lead to the island. Some form of sympathetic causality connects the formation with the redacted, which means, in theory, that when certain redacted are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment of purpose or desire in nearby individuals. Though I'd like to remind those individuals that we're the parakinesiology department, not the parafeelings department. Alright, touchy. I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct and install a permanent detection system. These arches will help rangers identify when the causal tethers are active, allowing them to better redact it. That's right, they had little uh, monitors next to them, didn't they, those arches? With, um, with some sort of readout of the, uh, the link. Uh, so... What to do with ourselves? Let's just have a quick look over here at the... We've got no ability points. <laughs> well, that dashes that theory. Great, we didn't make any ability points at all. Um, we can... Hello. Containment incursion. Kill enemies in the containment sector. Uh, right, hiss warped. Hiss warped. Which ones are they? Oh, we learnt last time as well that... The, uh, I actually looked it up, those bat-like creatures, the official name for them, are Hiss Distorted. So that distorted tourist kind of half makes sense. The tourist bit is a bit worrying, but uh, demolition experts. Right, let's take on, this is going to get us a level four weapon mod. We're doing these passively anyway, we may as well. Oh, hold on. Did I? Oh, did I delete? Wait, I'm confused. What did I just do? Have I just deleted? <laughs> have I just deleted something that I shouldn't have? Abandon. I held down X just then. I think I just removed it when I didn't mean to. Okay. Hello, jukebox token. Kill his distorted. Do you know what? Let's just accept something and get out of here. Um, I'm not really paying too much attention to those, to be quite honest with you. What I am paying attention to is where the hell we're going to head next. I'm going to pop upstairs very quickly. I'm going to say hello to baby bro. See if uh, he's got anything new to say, or any. Oh, wonderful riveting dreams to regale us with and then we're gonna get on with something new here we go again <laughs> once more with feeling hey bro let me guess you want to tell me about your dream yes yes in fact i'm having a dream right now oh good oh that's new it's slightly dream. disturbing I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. Uh -huh. This very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. I'm standing <laughs> there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. <laughs> you weren't speaking to a microphone as well, were you? And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. 
That's good. <laughs> is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? Gonna... I don't know. I've got a sneaky feeling Dylan might be on the wrong side of my monitor. Um, <laughs> I know from past Remedy games, especially Max Payne, that um, they do like to play with that fourth wall. To Remedy, it's less of a fourth wall and more of a, you know, flimsy shower curtain to be pulled back at any moment. So I am going to head on foot. Uh, as I said before, I want to um, try and go on foot where I can so that uh, I can run into any potential fights and gain a little bit of experience along the way. But I'm going to pay a quick visit to Artie, just to see if he's got any more uh, cleanup jobs for us. Ooh, hello. That's a door we haven't seen before. Level five. Interesting. I did spot as well. There's a red barred door through there as well that I can't access from this side. One in here. Goody. Oh, hello. Oh, good. I've uh, I've run out of space again. Me and my sloppy inventory management. Oh, file. What have we got? Fan procedures. Oh, hold on. Wasn't there something about a fan when we... Where were we? Was it when we were at the top of the NSC chamber? It's, there was a file about people being worried that fans were going to suck the air out of the lungs or something. Anyway, this was acquired in 1954. Note, per archival mandate 8.a, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Interesting. Well, being 1954, this would have been near the foundation of the Bureau itself. Certain terminology may be out of date. Water placed on the item prevents it from exercising its thaumaturgical force. What's the thaumaturgy again? Is that something to do with um, temperature? Contained in possessed object gallery. Oh, wow, this is old terminology, isn't it? The Oscillator brand electric standing fan with protective grill. The item in question robs the immediate vicinity of all oxygen. They weren't making it up. They weren't crazy. The range seems to be variable. While on assignment in Korea, foreign investigator Redacted learned the odd fatality, learned of fat odd fatalities in the area. Redacted entered the site of the most recent death. Superstitious locals blamed the electric fan. Redacted seized the fan and placed it in a small room with a Redacted. The redacted suffocated. Oh no. The investigator booked two cabins on the SS redacted. One for himself and one for the fan. Well. I can't blame the guy for being cautious. Right, I'll scoop this up and go see Artie. Oh. Hold on. Oh, we've got friendlies. Hold on. Have I just... I haven't just walked into a... Um... I've just walked into a bureau... Uh... What's it called? Bureau side jobby thing. Right. You want to work for me? Oh. Apparently not interested. Okay. Oh, hold on. find the others. Interesting. So this was part of Arish's little side gig. I haven't actually checked out his, um, anything to say? No? Okay. Uh, as you were. Return to your post. I haven't actually checked out any information about the location of Arish's little, um, buddies. I should probably do that, actually. Right. This is an area we weren't able to, uh, get into before because of the filthy mold. What have we got? Uh, decent looking energy boost. Nice. Okay. Uh, Ron Chris had also mentioned. Um, well, Ron Chris and Rakoth had both mentioned about the uh, the jukebox being uh, a little bit of a solid trial that we perhaps don't need to engage in. Ooh, door. But uh, Ron Chris had specifically mentioned about uh, upgrading C's as much as possible to try and speed it up. And uh, when I was clearing out my inventory, I found that I had another upgrade. The I think the top level upgrade, absolute increases sea speed by 77%, which is, um, it's a tad tasty. I'll give it that. Right, anything else? No. Tidy little break room. Right, let's pop up and see. Yoink. <laughs> Our arty pops. See if he's got any new cleanup operations waiting for us. Oh, arty. Hello. Long time no see. Oh, he does have something for us. Marvellous. Thought the board was blank then. 
Oh no! More mold! Of it. This thing is completely living from the mitten. Perker! Satana! Helvetin helvet! Oma tulossa ja tällaista paskaa. There's a few times now that I've heard him say Perkele and Satava. Um, I, I'm beginning to think that they're probably not particularly nice words. <laughs> you wash your mouth out, sir. So, where is this little job? Let's go and uh, let's go and take on the. Let's see, Langston's run away. We've got three of those. So we still need to hunt down another five of Arish's old squad mates. Okay, cool. Um, even more mold. What have we got? The uh, coolant pumps in the maintenance sector. Again. Oh, goody gum drops. Okay, so... I need to be going... Wait, I need to be heading back through Artie's office for that, don't I? I think that was the way that we get to the coolant pumps. Right, let's uh, head that way then. Director Faden. Nice to see that the uh, the guards are still holding the place. Uh, let's see. Am I dead? No, <laughs> maybe not. I was about to say, am I daring enough to try and fly over to the next platform? Well, actually, no, I could make that easily, couldn't I? Nice. So let's see. Um, there's the elevator. There's the energy converters. There's central maintenance. I'm trying to remember where the pumps were. Oh, distract ourselves with them. A little bit of target practice for a moment or two. Thankfully, it does seem as though Old areas that we've covered previously don't get populated with particularly high high level enemies. So it means that there's not that much of a challenge when we pass through again, which is uh, welcome. Why am I not picking you up? Am I full again? <laughs> Forget it. Wait, did I explore over there last time? Nothing to explore. So I think the coolant pumps no, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where are where are the coolant pumps? Right at oh no, I remember. Yeah, I was supposed to turn left at the juncture here, wasn't I? It's right on the other side of old Northmoor up there. Right, let's head on through then. Pass old twig pants here. Right, just stops off at the furnace. Yeah, I thought so. There was a uh, there was an inaccessible area in here. Which is inaccessible no longer. Oh. Except wait, I swear there was a box here. I swore there was a pickup that I could Well, pick up. But apparently not. Unless it's No. And there's some sort of tunnel behind there as well. Where is wait. That hold on. The tunnel leads all the way through from the Black Rock Quarry. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've got a trek ahead of me. You down. There we go. No, no, sir. I want no part of what you're offering. Oh, great. <laughs> Looks like I haven't got a choice. Although, can I recruit you, please? Why can I not seem to? There we go. You could come in quite handy to get the drop on that chap. Go on then. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> Thanks. Me. Oh, sniper! Not anymore, he isn't. Right. So, uh, I'm somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm on the uh, the Northmoor sarcophagus. Oh, I haven't been up there, have I? Um, just for your information, I've. Uh, oh, I can't actually get there. Never mind. Uh, I've just <laughs> spent the last few minutes going up each and every one of these balconies, heading up to the top level here, looking for goodies. And files, and there was bugger all there. So there's the Black Rock Quarry. Where am I headed here? 
I don't want to... Oh, this is where I found the information about the fan, wasn't it? I've got a feeling this is taking me in precisely the wrong direction. Yeah, that's taking me back to the energy converters. Oh, great. The spikes I can deal with. But the, uh... Hold on, Thompson. Oh, I wonder if you're one of the riches, boys. I tend to think you probably are. Looks like. Okay. So I think the area I need to go to is behind here, maybe? Oh, hello. Hold on. Can I... Damn. No, I <laughs> don't want you here. I think I need to be through there. Can I... Can I sneak you through? Oh, I can. Awesome. So this is our little hidden route by the looks of it. Okay. Why do I feel like there's something in here with me? Not sure I like this. I could just float all the way to the bottom, of course, but, uh... Oh, severely mold infected. Right. Hidden location discovered. Nice. Oh, and that netted us an ability point. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hello. We're going to have mold infected down here, aren't we? Oh, God, is that one of the snipers? I think it might be. He hasn't seen me, though, which is a thing. Sweet. Oh, there's more. Okay. Completely missed, but at least I know where he is now. Did that get him? I think that got him. Yes, it did. Nice. All right. Uh, did he drop any health for me? Go on, be nice. Be nice. No. <laughs> All right, never mind. Whatever. Not bothered. At least be something nice here. Shield boost. Mm, okay. Right, so this is supposed to... I'm sure this is supposed to lead through to the furnace. Opposite direction. Here? Somewhere? Please? <laughs> Wait, I didn't come down too far, did I? Uh, was I not supposed to go down there? Hold on there just a minute. Thing. I found a thing. I have found a thing. My yes. Awesome. Nice. What's around here? Was this another way I could have come through? Possibly. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, hello. Pretty sure I've been up there. I think I dropped down from there when I uh when I originally found this area. Sweet. Right, this, I think, will get me through to a grated area directly above that shaft. Yeah, here we go. So that's where I was, down there. Bloody hell. <laughs> so close. Right, a couple of uneventful tunnels later, I am back at the furnace. Um, not a, Oh, great. <laughs> not a complete wasted journey, though, because I did get an ability point out of it and um, a couple of mods. So there's that going for it. Right, let's get down to the pump, see if we can't clear out uh, this fresh new mold infestation. Oh, I just had a little thinky thunk. There were those suspended platforms above the pump, pump room, weren't there? Oh, and this. We can go here now. The mold's gotten in here too? Oh, All right. It always get was. cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. <laughs> yeah, he always kind of was in here. I did comment on it a handful of times. Ooh, a thing. Oh, bads. Very big bads. Not snipers, are you? No, we're all right. 
Right, let's leave those for the time being until I can get a little bit closer to them. Let's see, is there anything of interest down here? Doesn't seem to be. Nor here, actually. You need to be careful in case there are mold infected around that uh, just waiting for me to put a foot wrong. Come on then, you hissy buggers! Oh good. More splodies. Is that all of them? No. <laughs> no, it was not. Take that. So, is there anything... There's a pickup over there. Other than that, there's nothing of worth on that suspended platform, as far as I can tell. That's locked to us. Okay, is there anything... Ooh, a bulbous thing. Oh, this is the mold we need to eradicate. Excellent. I thought we just had to head back down to the pumps again. <laughs> Candy that I stumble into the right area. Is that one? That is not one. Nothing over there. Oh, one on the ceiling. I think. Yep. Cool. So, any more wibbly wobbly pustules? None are jumping out to me. Let's see if I can't get up. Was it there that that box was? Oh, hold on. Pustule! Right, by my reckoning, we've probably got two more to get. Oh, that's not the right. Oh, it was on the other side, wasn't it? <laughs> Silly me. Hmm. Wibbly wobbly moldy pimples, where be thee? See now. Are there any hiding down in little crevices down here? Just waiting for me to pass on by, oblivious. Wouldn't put it past them. There's one. Right, I reckon one more. Uh, probably near the start, I would hope. No, right, let's get that pick up before I forget about it. Oh, am I going to be able to reach that? No, I am not. Maybe if I stop off on here. There we go. Lovely. So, where is this? I can... Where's Artie's radio? I can hear it somewhere. Hmm, I've come over to this central platform to get a better view. I picked up that, uh, that little pickup. They tend to give off a very faint blue glow from what I can gather, so they should stick... Hello. Ha-ha! Oh, bloody marvellous. And two ability points? Excellent stuff. Right, I'm not going to rock the boat by actually going down to the uh, the main pump room floor. Uh, although, oh, nuts, I need to, don't I, to get out of here. Forgot about that. Right, let's go and grab the elevator. Um, yeah, I thought so. Oh, yay, it's one of my good friends. But you know what? I'm going to stick with uh, I'm going to stick with grip for this one. Because when we fought off against that um, distorted tourist before, I think it's going to come. Here it is, right in front of me. This one's weak. Old squad made of voracious. Are you for real? <laughs> They're an absolute piece of cake. Well, I mean, when you actually pull up a shield and defend yourself properly, that was oh wow. Well, that gives you a little bit of a uh, renewed vigor and lease on life. 
Bloody marvellous. So those bat things are not anything to be feared. A aside from the distorted tourist. That thing's absolute nightmare fuel. Okay, I'm going to head back up to the NSC, and then I want to head to the sector elevator. I think it's time we, uh, we went somewhere brand new. Okay, sector elevator. Let's get the hell out of maintenance, and uh, let's pop to a brand new area. I'm going to head to the investigation sector and see what precisely it is that Mr. Wake is leading us toward. I have no idea what to actually uh, expect here. Oh. <laughs> well, that's ominous. Something tells me we haven't paid the electric bill for this department. Oh, never mind. Wow. Wow. That is spooky. So that suggests to me... Hello? Not only Anyone is... Anyone here? Guess not. Not only are there no person... Look! Even the cameras are off. Not only is there no personnel down here, but potentially no hiss, I guess? There's a power cell. The place should have been powered. Right, is that the glow of another power cell? Oh, wait, Seems camera's on. a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Great. The cameras are now active. <laughs> Presumably the bureau's now, uh, the board's now watching. Right. Uh, but I want to, uh, I wanted to just quickly switch over to the appropriate mission. Uh, oh good, we completed one. Nice, by killing his distorted. Very cool. Um, let's take a little look. Oh no, we've got 11 seconds left on personnel protection. That's a shame. Dark place. Here we go. Jesse receives a strange vision that mentions the investigation sector. He decides to look into the matter. As any good director should. So, investigations. Thankfully, there's a ton of files around here. We like that. What do we got? Dar Wait. Darling investigation? What? Compiled by Tim Spalder by order of William Kirkland, head of investigations. I think we've heard of Kirkland before. So, investigations was investigating Darling? Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. <gasps> Despite the accounts of anonymous redacted regarding inhumane treatment of a redacted currently housed in the Bureau, our official... Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up, something's just fallen into place. Threshold kids. I don't know if it's talking about a treatment of a child currently housed in the Bureau, but we know that there was a kid held within the Bureau of Investigations. Threshold Kids was created to try and teach that child all about the Bureau and all about how you can't go outside and blab about what's in the Bureau and all this sort of business. I just realised that kid must have been Dylan. It's literally just clicked inside my head. He's been here for 17 years and what did, what, oh, what did I say? Jesse was a year older than Dylan and she's currently I think 29 so Dylan would have been about 12? That makes perfect sense. How did I not click that before? It's so bloody obvious. Anyway, so, don't know if it's talking about a child currently housed in the Bureau, but I'd imagine it probably was if Darling's involved. Our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during the investigation. The majority of redacted sector personnel seem to be wholly unaware of any such redacted contained there. Hmm. One redacted confirmed the redacted's code name to be redacted. I wonder if that's P6 by any chance. But all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the redacted research wing to interview its staff. Something research wing. Okay. The matter was further, uh, further, further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. Okay. Non-human paranatural entities. So this isn't Dylan. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Mr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into redacted research. Wait. So they're, they're referencing a full research department? <laughs> what? Casey inquiry to R. Dennis from D. Gleason, possible lead on the Wake case. Mr. Dennis, a request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls specifically on the disappearance of the author, Alan Wake. Per the Interagency Information Exchange Agreement, 
it rolls off the tongue, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all the pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. But I'm writing to let you know that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with the writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on this guy, Special Investigator Gleason. <laughs> okay, so there was a hint, wasn't there? I'm sure I saw something else flashing in here. Maybe not. Maybe I dreamt it. It's interesting that Alan Wake in the vision to us was kind of hinting that maybe he was writing Jesse's story as it was unfolding? Missing agents. Mr. Kirkland. Again, the boss of investigations. Oh, this is two years ago. Here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Connor, researcher Ezra Cruz. Ezra Cruz, have we heard that name before? Agent Caroline Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray, Derek Shah. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You'll be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Oh, there's more. Also, as per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and only and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. <gasps> oh, interesting. So they've lost... They, they can't cross a firebreak attached to this department? Let's take a look at the map. Is there a firebreak here? There is. Oh, like literally through the next door. <laughs> look at the size of this department, though. And it looks like there's potentially three turntables wow this <laughs> this is a big old trek what have i got myself into here <laughs> so okay kirkland's potentially i'm going through there in a minute kirkland's potentially lost oh hello polaris wants us to take a look at something lost control of his department there was a containment breach multiple agents were killed They've lost many of their files because they weren't digitally backed up and they can't cross the fire break. They've, they've, so basically, they've lost the entire investigations department. Right, the Borough Tractor acquisition date. Uh, oh, not a seen, not acquired. Okay, so it's still out in the loose as of a few months ago. No, miscommunication led to local coroner examining the body of William Borough. Okay. Borough, William, male, Caucasian. Case summary, 33-year-old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. How pleasant. Proper little mixed bag. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries to the head, lacerations, left ear, cheek, blunt force injuries, extremities, dislocation, right knee. Complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of proximal right humerus. Complete avulsion? What does that mean? Does it mean it's missing, ripped off? Extensive trauma, abdominal region, complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine, all missing from the scene. So avulsion must be removal. Conclusion, it's my opinion Mr. Burroughs' death is not the result of mechanical accident, as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with an animal attack. Burrow tractor? So William Burrow Tractor? Uh, by the way, <laughs> apologies if you can't see an awful lot. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> it's not a lot of light in here. Resignation letter. Okay. From this year, to whom it may concern, it is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's safety, presumably. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our redacted... <gasps> I wonder if that's head of research. Mr. Casper Dr. Darling, who was routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming parts of the investigation sector, lost to the redacted loose inside. Maybe it's not then. I doubt Darling would get involved in that. That's probably more um, Salvador's department. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. What's on the other side of that fire break? I don't like this. The redacted has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. That's aimed squarely at Salvador, I think. What is? 
<laughs> so many files. I love this. I'm in paradise here. Mr. Dennis, so yes, there's an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. <laughs> Could you not call him Marshall? If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Okay, I'm piecing something together here. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. Oh, m wait. So they were operating for months without being able to cross the fire break and access their own department? Uh, it better not be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. So Grayson is the head of... Uh, the task force is here in the investigations department. Mr. Dennis stepped in after Kirkland quit and wasn't doing a particularly good job by the sounds of it. Huh. Right, let's investigate. Uh, <laughs> another file! I love it! Cauldron Lake update. Now, Cauldron Lake something that's cropped up a few times. Is that something to do with the Alan Wake game? I have played the first Alan Wake, um, but it was years ago and I can't remember a single thing about it. Other than it starred a guy called Alan Wake. That's about it. Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our redacted. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough. But why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? It doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on redacted lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with our, with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this redacted hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might have to invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Thankfully, Estevez wasn't on that list of casualties, I don't think, so um, possibly still breathing. Sector Head Office. Head of Operations, William Kirkland. They didn't even bother changing his name. Wow, such... Absolute. There's a space helmet over there. Absolute disregard for the investigations department. This is ridiculous. This wouldn't have happened on my watch as director. Underhill background. Ooh, about Dr. Underhill. Compiled by Lisa Keenum, external investigator. By order of William Kirkland. Dr. Rhea Underhill is a prof... Wait, this is a bit of a paradox. Underhill sounded very much like she had been called in very recently to investigate the mould. As in, like, oh no, she was called back, wasn't she? That's right, she'd left the Bureau and was called back, I think, kind of as a, as a consultant for the mould? Anyway, Dr. Rhea Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill once worked with the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. There we go. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organisations or any record of breaching her NDA since leaving the Bureau. I wonder if this is them invest doing a bit of a background check before they call her back in. Her civilian behaviour has also been ideal, with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Ooh! Depending on the duration of her work at the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. That's precisely what it was. Oh man, and look, so many more glorious files. Oh, I'm at home here. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to feel quite at home here in the investigations department. I mean, other than the emergency the contamination break, the unknown number of objects of power, and the fact that there's something lurking on the other side of the threshold. This place just seems like paradise. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below. I would love to read what uh, what you think about some... Um, well, this, really. I, I suppose we haven't even touched on what the hell Alan Wake's got to do with it. Well, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.